Um, it looks like that you worked very, very hard, very goal oriented at several jobs while you're a teenager, which led to some better things. But you, you basically look like you took a very plain situation and you would always augment it and turn it into something much more beautiful into a bouquet type of thing. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, always kind of a fire inside to make something better, not only for myself, but the people in my life who I care about, you know, a strong desire to provide and, uh, you know, in, in the security sense to protect as well. So. Well, yeah, you mentioned that, too, that your your mom, I believe it was, that was involved in some research, basically older security, something probably from 20 years ago or something. Well, she was right. a crime analyst, so she was handling homicide cases in, uh, in Portland, Oregon, where I'm from. So for about 20 years, she was on the homicide and assault uh, team. So she would actually go and testify against uh, murderers, you know, for some of the most heinous crimes. And, you know, I would go to the police bureau after school, you know, to get a ride home. So I'd see she'd be working on these data sheets, and sometimes she'd even be staying late at work to do wiretaps. And what fascinated me was how... These Excel spreadsheets, they were only using Excel then, <laughs> um, would translate then into, uh, you know, justice for these families. And then she'd get cards and, and flowers and whatnot from these families. At least they have closure. You know, that really struck me. Uh, you know, I wasn't really able to do anything with that inspiration for a long time. But then, you know, like I said in the essay, once I had the opportunity to study, it became clear to me that cybersecurity was something I felt very strongly for. And that was part of why. So, yep. Yep. So you got in, you're getting into cybersecurity. You're starting in a yeah. bachelor's program yeah. uh, here at WGU. How in the world did you find WGU out of all the choices out there? Well, so I had been going to community college, Portland Community College, and it was moving very, very slowly, you know. So then I moved into a boot camp, and some individuals at the boot camp had mentioned WGU. So it was the first little, you know, kind of whisper in my ear about it. And then, um, I got my job and um, then I also started volunteering for an uh, organization, it's a nonprofit called Operation Safe Escape. And uh, the individual who hired me, her name is Gabby and uh, she grew up in foster care and kind of had to struggle similarly to get into the field. But um, she uh, had mentioned WGU and she had had some friends with really good experiences and she had gone to college you know, at a university in California, but she said she wished that she'd gone to WGU. And she's got some friends in high places, you know, a lot of the people in our organization she had found and hired and there are people from the DOD, you know, she works personally uh, as a consulting engineer, but for Facebook, you know, we'll hire and contract her out uh, quite a bit. So I really trusted her opinion and uh, I wanted to look more into it. So I actually had uh, stuck my toe in the water early in the year when I had finished boot camp around the time I was hired with my company, but it wasn't the right time. It was just too many transitions. I was moving across the country for my company and to switch schools on top of that would have been too much. But I had this realization, you know, the end of last term where I felt like I was being very limited because here I am at work, you know, helping secure these enterprise networks. But then in school, it's like, you know, this is Python. This is a router, you know, and it was just you know, I thought there's a better way, you know, and uh, I think WG is really the answer. So you're going after the uh, Code Your Own Path scholarship. And how did you find out about the scholarship itself? Well, really, I was just looking at the scholarships offered by WGU and, um, and the Code Your Own Path really stood out to me because that's kind of what I did, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so didn't have a lot of uh, hope in my future for quite some time. But, um, you know, once I found out this sort of uh, passion and also maybe a bit of a knack um, for the tech world and security specifically, you know, I felt like I could kind of code my own path, so to speak. So um, it was really just in the list, but it also was one that I felt most strongly I could resonate with and was most applicable to my journey. Well, your vision and your focus in that regard has paid off because you have been awarded $5,000 for the Code Your Own Path Scholarship at WGU. Oh my goodness. Right. Congratulations. Sorry. It's all I'm right. Really sorry. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's, that's life changing. I can't tell you, I wasn't sure I was going to afford the rest of my tuition. So. 
Thank you. I really appreciate it. Well, he doesn't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I congratulate you. I congratulate you on who you are from reading your essay. If everybody was like you, it'd be a wonderful world. So thank you <laughs> for thank you, what you Ed. do, who you are, and being a WGU student. Thank and you. Congratulations.